Hi everyone and welcome to Sweet Pea Sids Inspirations. My name is Sydney and today we are going to learn how to make this Swinging Vines Crochet Mug Rug. Very simple to make. All you need to know how to do is single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, front post and back post, and also how to do a triple treble crochet. But if you don't know how to do those then I will show you how. So what you are going to need is some cotton yarn, I am using the Kabo that I have picked up from Walmart in the color beige. And then also I am using this three and a half millimeter crochet hook. You will also need a tapestry or darning needle to weave in your ends and of course a pair of scissors. So go ahead and grab whatever yarn you would like. Make sure it is cotton or maybe even wool. Cotton would be the best because it will soak up any kind of condensation and also heat resistance as well. And we'll go ahead and get started. Once you have gotten all of your chains completed, we are going to go into that third chain from the hook. So one, two, and three. And we are going to place a half double crochet in that stitch and in the remaining stitches for row number one. So go ahead and place a half double crochet in each stitch and then I will meet you once I have gotten this row completed. You should now have 23 half double crochets across your chains and now we are going to start off with a chain one go ahead and turn your work to now you are on the back side of your work and we are going to place a single crochet in that very first loop so you'll have these two loops that we will initially crochet into but this time to make a ribbing or a ridge we are going to go into that very front loop here and we are going to place a single crochet. And we are going to go ahead and continue repeating that until you have made it to the end of this row. So again, we are going to go into the very, very first stitch here, which you have the two stitches that look like a V. So right here, these two stitches that look like a V, we're going to go into this very front loop to where it makes a bridge line. And go ahead and place a single crochet. Go ahead and continue repeating that until you have reached the end of this row. And then we can go ahead and get started on our two row repeat for the main portion of our crochet mug rug. After you have gotten a single crochet and need to stitch, making sure you do have a total of 23 single crochets. We are going to start on the first row repeat. So go ahead and start off with a chain of four. So one, two, three, and four. And this is going to count as a double crochet plus a chain one. So go ahead and turn your work to the front side. So you should have a bridging along the front side of your work. And we are going to skip this very first stitch here where there, that chain three is going to count as a stitch. And then we are going to skip the next stitch. So go into that third stitch and place a double crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. So again, that was a double crochet in the next four stitches. So now we are going to chain one and then we are going to skip the next stitch. And in the next four stitches, we are going to place a double crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four chain one skip the next stitch double crochet in the next four stitches two three 
two. three and four chain one skip one double crochet in the next four stitches so one two three and four chain one skip one and in that very last stitch we are going to place a double crochet now we've got to do another setup row so we are going to chain four again so one two three and four go ahead and turn your work we're going to skip this double crochet and this chain one and in the next four double crochets, we are going to place a double crochet in each. So pretty much the exact same thing as we did in the last row. So again, you are gonna go ahead and place a double crochet in the each four stitches. And once you get to that chain one space, we are going to chain one and skip that chain one space. So I've got my last four double crochet. So chain one, skip that chain one space, and then place a double crochet in the next four stitches. So go ahead and repeat that until you have made it to the end of this row. And then we can start on our two row repeat for the main portion of our mug rug. So now you should have something that looks similar to this. That is the back side on our front side. This is what it's going to look like. So now for our first row repeat, and you should have left off with a chain one and a double crochet in that chain three, or the top of that chain three. So for our first row repeat, we are going to start off with a chain of four. So one, two, three, and four. So that's going to count as a double crochet and a chain one. Go ahead and turn your work. So now we are going to do a triple treble stitch. So we are going to yarn over four times. So one, two, three, and four. We're gonna go two rows down, so one and two. And we are going to go to this furthest, this most furthest double crochet stitch in that second row below and we are going to place a front post triple treble stitch so go ahead after you've got your four yarn overs go ahead and draw up a loop pull through two pull through two pull through two pull through two and pull through two so that is how you do a triple treble crochet stitch and so now we are going to go back to these four double crochet stitches and we are going to place a double crochet stitch in each of those four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. So we're going to repeat that again. So go ahead and yarn over four times. So one, two, three, and four. Go two rows down, so one and two. And we are gonna go to this most furthest double crochet here. And we are going to place a front post triple crochet stitch. So after you've got your four yarn overs, you should now have five loops on your hook. Go ahead and draw up a loop to now where you have six loops. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And then we are going to go back to these four double crochet stitches. And you are going to definitely skip that chain one space because this triple treble stitch takes the place of that and then we are going to place a double crochet in each of those four double crochets from the previous row so go ahead and do that so 
So we're going to continue repeating that until you have made it to the very last portion or this very last stitch here and I will meet you then. Once you have gotten your last four double crochets completed, you are going to chain one and then we are going to place a double crochet in the top of that chain three from the previous row. And now for our second row repeat, go ahead and start off with a chain four. So one, two, three, and four. That is going to count as a double crochet plus a chain one. Go ahead and turn your work to the back side. And we are going to pretty much do the exact same thing, but it's going to be a little bit different. So go ahead and start off with yarning over four times. So one, two, three, and four. And now if you want to, you can flip your work to the side or to the front or whatever. And we are going to go two rows below. So one and two, and we are going to go to the furthest most half or double crochet from two rows below of the four double crochets and we are going to do pretty much a back post double crochet so we are if we were to look at this side of our back the back side of our work it would be a back post but you can also flip it to the front side where it's a little bit easier to see exactly where you're going and you want to make sure you do not grab this triple trush, triple treble crochet that we made in the previous row. So pretty much do a front post or a back post triple treble crochet, depending on how you're looking at it. So go ahead after you've got your four yarn overs, draw up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two pull through two and pull through two. So this is what it's going to look on the front side of our work. So again, you should have not grabbed this triple treble crochet that we made in the previous row. You just want to grab that double crochet two rows below. So once you have gotten that completed, we are going to go into these four double crochets and place a double crochet in each stitch. So one, two, three, and four. Again, we are going to yarn over four times. So one, two, three, and four. And we are going to go two rows down and we are going to do a back post triple treble crochet, just making sure that you are not catching that triple crochet, triple treble crochet from the previous row. So do a back post triple treble. So draw up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Go ahead and continue repeating that until you have made it to that very last stitch. And you should have you should leave off with four double crochets, a chain one, and then a double crochet in that very last stitch. Again, you should leave off with chain one and then a double crochet at the top of that chain three space that we made in the previous row. So when you turn over your work, you'll see that you have this one triple treble crochet that we first did which is going from left to right in an upward motion and then the second one is from right to left in an upward motion and these triple treble crochets are what really gives the name for this coffee mug rug and you will go ahead and continue those two row repeats until you have a total of seven triple treble crochets that you can count. So here is my finished one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then once you have all seven of those completed, so we've already done two rows. Once you have all seven of those completed, I will meet you for the top portion of this coffee mug rug, which will be the finished two rows. So go ahead and continue repeating that until you can count seven of these triple treble crochets and then I will meet you then. 
Once you have gotten all seven rows completed, we are going to do the exact same thing that we did at the bottom here at the top. So we are going to start off with chain one, turn your work, and then we are going to place a single crochet in the front loop only of each stitch. So go ahead and continue repeating that until you have reached the end of this row. And then for the next row, you will go ahead and place a half double crochet in each stitch. And then that will be the end for this project. If you did enjoy this tutorial, please don't forget to give this video a like, share, comment, or subscribe. But also feel free to check out my other tutorials, knitting and crocheting. And I will see you guys for the next tutorial.